Hello everyone, I am Emir Ceyhani, representing our team to introduce FED GraphNN, a federated learning system and benchmark for graph neural networks. Graph neural networks are the first choice for graph structured data. However, many real-world applications require decentralized data due to privacy concerns. On the other hand, federated learning is a distributed learning paradigm with provable privacy guarantees. Even so, training GNNs in a federated setting is still an open problem. We propose a platform called FedGraphNN to accelerate this exciting research direction. We think that FedGraphNN should cover different types of GNN-based federated learning for various representations. These can be graph level, subgraph level, node level, and link level representations. For instance, in the AI-based drug discovery industry, pharmaceutical research institutions would benefit from other institutions' private data, but neither cannot afford to disclose their data for reasons like user site privacy, regulation restrictions, and commercial competition. Fed GraphNN currently supports graph level federated learning. In this setting, each client owns a graph data set and the GNN model to learn rep graph level representations. Here, clients have MPNN as it generalizes some popular GNN choices. Here, multiple clients collaborating through a server to improve their models without revealing their graph data sets. We formulate GNN-based FL as a distributed optimization problem, and we try to solve this via FedAverge. FedGraphNN is based on FedML, but there are some important differences. First, FedGraphNN uses FedML Core API, but further supports TensorAware RPC, to communicate between servers located at different data centers, like different pharmaceutical vendors. High-level APIs support common GNM models, and we also provide dedicated data loaders and splitters to handle non-ID nature of graph datasets. To address close silo deployment challenges, we plan to develop FedML Client SDK with three key modules, Data Collector and Manager, Training Manager, and Model Server. Next, we provide what datasets and methods fed GraphNN currently has. For datasets, we currently support MoleculeNet datasets and the new large-scale dataset called HERC. For GNN models, users can choose between GCN, GraphSage, and GET. For federated optimizers, users can utilize all available optimizers in FedML. Here we list some of those. For the experiments, we observed crucial observations regarding the federated training of GNNs. First, when graph datasets are small, federated accuracy is on par with the centralized one. But when dataset size uh, grow, FL accuracy becomes worse than centralized case due to the non-IID nature of graphs. Second, the dynamics of training GNS in a federated setting defy some of our intuitions. That is, best model in the centralized setting may not necessarily be the best model in the non-IID federated setting. The, Third, we find that GET suffers from the most considerable performance compromise. This may be due to the sensibility of the attention calculation on the non-ID settings. Hence, there is a need to understand nuances of training GNNs in a federated setting and bridge this gap. Next, here is a system performance analysis. For this experiment, we utilize MPI as a communication backend. Even on large datasets, federated learning and training can be completed under one hour using only four GPUs except the QM9 dataset, which requires hours to finish training. Training time using RPC is also evaluated, but it is similar to that of using MPI. For our future works, we have two directions. In the library side, we plan to support more models and datasets and make the system more powerful and efficient. In the research side, we, we are also working on research problems and also encourage researchers to work on these interesting problems based on FedGraphNN, thus FedML. Finally, let's introduce our FedML community. After our release, which is one year ago, we already have almost 400 users. Some of them use FedML as research library to publish paper in top tier conferences. We believe the power of open source. We are either the research users or developers of this library. In short, FedGraphN is fully open and welcomes contributions from the ML and system research community. For more details, please visit our website fedml.ai. Thank you so much.